The word for today, be a restorer. Sometimes when we fall, we can get up by ourselves. Other times we need someone to help us. And sadly, people, even Christians, feel that if they extend grace to someone, they are condoning the sin. But Paul knocked that argument down when he wrote, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ in God forgave you. Ephesians 4, 32. Why should we be restorers? 1. Because God tells us to. If someone is caught in a sin, you who live by the Spirit should restore that person gently. But watch yourselves. You also may be tempted. Galatians 6 verse 1. It's pride that causes us to point an accusing finger instead of extending a helping hand. It makes us think we're better than someone else, incapable of falling like they did. You'd be surprised what you would do in certain circumstances. Paul writes, So be careful. If you are thinking, Oh, I would never behave like that. Let this be a warning to you. For you too may fall into sin. 1 Corinthians 10, 12. 2. Because Jesus is our example. Jesus had no time for the Pharisees who hid their sins behind a religious mask. But not one time did he condemn someone who was caught in sin and overtaken by temptation and failure. The minute they reached for him, he willingly restored them. Someone, sadly, has said that the church is the only army that shoots its wounded. Today, others are watching us to see if the grace we proclaim is the same grace we extend to one another. Let's not disappoint them. That is the word for today.